Diary of Samuel Pepys, 16th of May, 1660. Soon as I was up, I went down to be trimmed below in the great cabin. But then come in some with visits, among the rest one from Admiral Opdam, who spoke Latin well, but not French nor English, to whom my lord made me to give his answer and to entertain. He brought my lord a tierce of wine and a barrel of butter, as a present from the Admiral. After that, to finish my trimming, and while I was doing a bit, in comes Mr. North, very seasick from shore, and to bed he goes. After that, to dinner, where Commissioner Pet was come to take care to get all things ready for the King on board. My lord, in his best suit, this the first day, in expectation to wait upon the King, but Mr. Edward Pickering, coming from the king, brought word that the king would not put my lord to the trouble of coming to him, but that he would come to the shore to look upon the fleet today, which we expected, and had our guns ready to fire, and our scarlet waist clothes out, and silk pendants, but he did not come. My lord and we at nine pins this afternoon upon the quarter-deck, which was very pretty sport. This evening came Mr. John Pickering on board, like an ass, with his feathers and new suit that he had made at the Hague. My lord, very angry for his staying on shore, bidding me a little before to send to him, telling me that he was afraid that for his father's sake he might have some mischief done him, unless he used the general's name. To supper, and after supper to cards. I stood by and looked on till eleven at night, and so to bed. This afternoon Mr. Edward Pickering told me in what a sad, poor condition for clothes and money the king was, and all his attendants, when he came to him first from my lord, their clothes not being worthy of forty shillings the best of them, and how overjoyed the king was when Sir J. Greenville brought him some money, so joyful that he called the Princess Royal and Duke of York to look upon it as it lay in the portmanteau before it was taken out. My lord told me, too, that the Duke of York is made High Admiral of England.